Hi there and welcome back to my art channel. Today I'll be drawing Sabrina from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. If you haven't seen the show yet, be aware there might be some spoilers up ahead. So sit back, relax, and let's draw Sabrina. So as a kid of the 90s, of course, I watched Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And it was one of my favorite shows. I mean, what's not to like? A teenage girl finds out that she's actually a half witch. And, you know, because of that, she gets into a lot of trouble and a lot of mischief. And, you know, it was a fun little show. So uh, when they did announce that they were going to be doing a reboot and they're going to be doing Sabrina, uh, I had a little bit of mixed feelings. Wasn't really sure what the, sure what they would be doing with the show, and wasn't really sure how they're going to you know make it better. Because as a kid, everything you watched as a kid was like oh, this is the best stuff, you know. Um, so I didn't know what they were going to do, and I was actually pretty pleasantly surprised. Uh, the aesthetic of the show, the the story, um, you know, it was much more uh, like the original comic, so which was really cool. And one thing that really caught my eye and I really appreciated was the general aesthetic, meaning the costume design, the, the environments, the feeling, the, the everything, everything about it, the visual part of it was just fantastic to me and I was more than aware that they paid a lot of attention to detail and that's something I really appreciated. And one of the costumes that I really liked was uh, Sabrina's costume in the final episode, or was it one of the final episodes of season two, is when she wears that gold dress. Uh, it was really cool, I really liked it. So I decided to draw it. So unlike uh, the original costume, I did make a few tweaks because I felt that um, the, the golden necklace thing she was wearing was, wasn't very complimentary to the actress's body and it made her head look a little bit too bigger than it actually was. So I changed it up and gave her like these shoulder pads instead that had wings on them to be uh, equal to the aesthetic of the whole dress. So one of the things that's, uh, in my opinion, really important within any movie, show, TV show, theater show, whatever, is definitely the costume design. It's not just telling you the story of the character, it's also helping bring the general story to life. Uh, in my opinion, a lot of the times, if you are able to kind of, let's say, uh, visually represent what's going on through the characters costumes you're doing a hell of a show because uh, theater animation movie whatever um, th these are visual mediums and they're using visual techniques of any kind to help to help the story and costume is just that it's a visual medium that's also helping us better understand what's going on better understand the characters better understand the main theme, the story, the so on and so on. Uh, I don't want to repeat myself a gazillion times. So, basically, uh, a good costume design can not just immensely improve uh, your experience of viewing a story, it can help bring the story to life. So in the case of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, uh, I very much enjoyed and thought that uh, her last costume at the finale was a very clever one and it was telling a lot about, uh, a lot about Sabrina's state of mind in that moment. Uh, it was then when Sabrina finds out that she is Lucifer's daughter and that he has plans for her to take over the world, of course, you know, releasing the spawns of hell and all that stuff. And uh, her wearing that angelic golden dress 
kind of told me the, sh the, the um, psyche, the mental state of Sabrina at that moment. Even though it seemed that she was going along with the plan, um, her wearing this angelic dress says that she's still rebelling against Lucifer, that she's planning on doing something to stop him. Even though, yes, this was quite obvious with the story itself, um, we wouldn't have a story if she wasn't rebelling against Lucifer, right? She is the per main protagonist. Um, it was great to see uh, that the story was also being told visually through the costume. So like I said, uh, the, the dress tells us that she is still rebelling, that she still wants to be a good person, and even though she's pretending to go along with Lucifer's plan, she's probably um, scheming up a way to stop him. And this is why um, I thought that the, sh that the costume was pretty clever, and, um, and not just being a beautiful gown, a beautiful dress, um, it tied everything together with the story, with the skills of the actress who was able to portray that, and uh, tying it all nicely in a very beautiful golden bow. <laughs> so, what do you guys think uh, about the show and about the costumes? I'd love to hear your opinions, so feel free to write down below uh, if you agree or if you don't disagree. Um, love to hear your thoughts. So personally, I don't think the costume design gets enough credit. It is a beautiful discipline that requires so much. It requires not just um, knowing how to sew and how to make a costume. It requires knowing how materials work, how uh, visually to tell a story, how to make a good design, how to uh, represent the personality of a character. It's just so much going on and it takes a lot of hard work and years and years of training and all that. So uh, I would just love to see it get the appreciation that it's due because it is a major part in storytelling and it would be nice that you know, people would appreciate it more. And it's not just costume design that's taken for granted, uh, set design, environmental design, uh, character design itself, though character design is getting more and more popular, but um, a lot of this work that goes into creating shows, um, a lot of people are not aware of it, and therefore they don't uh, give it proper appreciation. And you know, without all of this stuff, a story can't be told. And um, it doesn't give you the, the visual fullness of the whole story. And there's just so much uh, going on in the background. And these people, <laughs> they spend hours and hours, you know, helping uh, the showrunners tell a good story. And they don't get appreciated and they don't get the thanks that they deserve. So if anybody out there who actually took part in creating Sabrina, the chilling adventures of Sabrina, though I doubt that they would be ever watching this video, but if they were, you, th you guys did a fantastic job. Very, very beautiful work. And, you know, the actors did a wonderful work themselves as well, of course, but um, the, the production in the background, I think, is just spot on and they... You know, these people really deserve an applause. You guys did a fantastic job.
Okay, now that Sabrina is finished, we can give her a background. My initial thought was to create a mosaic-like background, but I felt that it probably would have been way too noisy, and I didn't want to distract the viewer from uh, the illustration itself, so I went with a more simplistic look. And to finish everything off, I'm just outlining Sabrina from the rest of the background to make sure that the colors are not blending in together too much. And we're done. Sabrina from the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and her iconic wink. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun and that you enjoyed yourself. And if you would like to support me and my art and help me make future videos, consider becoming a patron and get monthly goodies for me. All of the links are in the description below and I will see you back here in two weeks. Until then, much love.